The Admiral says the buildup remains on track with the first arrival of troops expected in 2024. About 1,800 Marines and dependents will be permanently based here and another 3,000 will be on rotation at any given time. As a guy who's deployed with Mar Marines my entire career, 28 plus years, I've seen basically no better friends, no better neighbors than the United States Marine Corps. He says that goes for the military community in general. For instance, last year alone, they responded to 335 calls for mutual aid, from ambulance transport and medical assistance to sea rescue to ordinance disposal to firefighting help. Then there's the economic benefit of both permanent and visiting troops, like the recent visit of the USS Teddy Roosevelt. It's estimated that those 5,000 sailors and Marines with, as part of that strike group uh, on the aircraft carrier contribute about 100 to maybe $200 a day to the local economy. Simple math leads you to believe then that that's a $500,000 to a $1 million a day influx into the local economy. And while the goal, he says, is to be the best neighbor possible, he also has a responsibility to ensure the welfare of those under his command, a role he takes very seriously. I had a young sailor when I was in command of the helicopter squadron on Christmas Eve call me and say that he was he was thinking about hurting himself. Uh, so I, we hung up the phone. I called my entire support staff. They picked me up at my house. We all went out in town, the old Perez Acres out there up in Gigo, and, and went and visited that sailor. That sailor had a loaded gun on his uh, coffee table. I am convinced to this day that we prevented a suicide there. We got that sailor the help he needed. That happened during the third of his now four stints on Guam. One of his daughters was born here during a previous assignment, and his wife was a teacher at Fidegodson and Upi Elementary Schools. I'll tell you, you know, Guam is like a second home to me. It is a place where people embrace the military, that the patriotism is on full display. I'm happy to be back here. You know, it's a long way from my children who are on the East Coast, uh, so that's kind of tough sometimes, but my wife and I truly enjoy our time on Guam. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Leconto.